found it interesting, yeah. and, and a few people have said today, that I found it quite, you're a lovely, lovely woman, and we've been chatting to you as the morning has gone on. I found it quite hard having kind of, just a normal conversation, with <laughs> these things here, so for guys, that must be very hard, to say, so how are you, and have you been to London before, and I'm kind of here, <laughs> and even as a woman, you don't want to stare, but, but they are things that are going to make people stare. Yeah. Is that why you've got them? Do you like the fact that people stare, and look at all this attention, here you are out in London, yeah, so it's like, like, it's okay. like a celebrity. <laughs> It can be quite fun, yeah. But is that why you've got them? Because you like that, it's drawing that attention. Um, yeah, yeah. It was a way to get myself out there and notice. Very funny, Andy. Hey, Dee, do not be back before we do tell her we're in search of a video Hey, wait up, I'll go with you. Okay. Time's up, see ya. Yeah. Oh, boy. the guitar my whole life and, and she won't even consider letting me fill in for one gig I know what she's thinking Don't 
you dare? What are you going to do? Tackle me, throw me to the ground, lock me in my room? Honey, for God's sake, I mean it. I'm warning you. I'm done with dinner. Okay, that's it. No more TV. The set is not going on that for a single second for the rest of the month. You lose, Claude. I remember just before I got to the end of the roof, you're really going off the roof. It was a, it was a bad feeling because I knew I was alone and I was going off for a pretty good fall. The fall was in excess of 20 feet, and uh, I figured it was really going to hurt when I got down at the bottom. And uh, when I hit, I hit awfully hard. I looked down and glanced at my right wrist and I swollen already, so I, I had to stop it.
So this particular book is following two twin sisters who are both black women, but they are also white passing. One of them decides to go back to the town where she lives and to embrace her heritage and everything, and she raises her daughter as a black woman. The other one decides... I noticed that that presence was back. The whole power system seemed like the lights would be going off. The basement door was open, shut on its own, just kind of back and forth. One time I was walking in the bedroom. Next thing I know, the blinds do move in a way that they're not supposed to move. I punched my time card and headed for home. I was looking forward to this morning as I had planned a hunting trip on the 98-acre farm bordering the Chattahoochee River my family and I lived on. I arrived home and gathered my gear trying to get as early a start as I could. My wife had already left for work, as most people do who have normal working hours. I usually called her when I was going hunting, but being in a hurry on this particular morning, I didn't. I had about a two-mile hike to my tree stand and arrived there around 10.15 a.m. My stand was about 20 feet high on the front side, facing a thick patch of pines. The back side faced the river below. And call me. Maybe. I have to call. E5. Oh, 071. B12. Bye. I24. E9. Bingo! B7. G48. Round over.
appreciate you coming. Oh, of course. I'm so glad you called. This is from Brian. What's this? Wind chimes. He, um, he made them for me when we lost our babies. And I love to hear the sound. You know, makes me feel connected to them. You're beautiful. Well, Mr. Thank you. Of course. I just don't know what to do. If I know I'm going to place them on the floor next to Mia, he always finds her hand. I guess an extension of his own. I don't know what he would do without her. Can you see him, please? He said his first word. He said, Ma. And he said that word to me. Sam would be scared without me. He cries every time I put him down with the room. He doesn't know about DNA. Missed a shot. Saved the flavor. Rumu might die. She said she's been dead. She said your father killed her. But Lalana's grandmother had no proof, only suspicion. So Lalana decided to investigate her mother's disappearance on her own. I watched things, you know, on old murder investigations and scientific documentary shows and court TV and you know all that. I watched all that stuff out of interest to see what I could pick up to see what I could learn when Lalana turned after such a long break I was listening to the Brockhampton gold music video on MTV it felt so surreal I would get somewhat paranoid around this time going beyond just probation I would check the windows and garage sometimes to make sure no one had come home so that I could be assured of my privacy I went to the living room to peek out the curtains and saw a man standing in the middle of the road. Where my house was is a dead end, so not a very busy area. Only someone lost or looking to make a U-turn or someone living around there should ever be passing by the house. He was just standing there in the middle of the street, in the middle of the giant living room window. He was facing...